about how they want want to start using data analytics and, and data tools in their in their audit. <clears throat> you know what the client wanted? Can we use those tools? That's going to help us manage our business. And so where the firm thought they were going to be investing in building all of this data stuff to help accommodate the audit, the client bought, hired them to consult to do the work. And all of a sudden, they got a tool that the client was using. And, and it also helped, uh, and that helped the auditor carry out their work. So it was a win-win. But so it's, a, it's an interesting concept. We've seen that client response a number of times, Al, and the, the, when you're trying to bring change into your processes and the audit in this example, the client is a key stakeholder in that because there's going to be some things that you want them to maybe change in the way that they, that they work with you. You can do a lot of this without changing how they interact with you, but maybe you want some different data sets. Maybe you want to actually try and look at the way that they interact with you throughout the year, etc they need to be part of this process and, and and i've always said to firms you need to put something on the table that gets them invested in this project like they want to get a better audit they don't want this to be a box ticking exercise they're going to have to spend the money anyway so they might as well get something valuable right. and insightful from it and and what i've said to firms is you know they, they've said to me well what what is that pitch mark and i've said it's very simple you go to them and say You'd like to get the right information from them at the right time and make their life easier for them to give you the things that you need. And secondly, you want to come back to them with something from that data, from that information that they don't already know about their business. You want to give them something valuable as an output. And, and we've got some functionality in our tool, Al, that you can, as the auditor, decide to publish some of those analysis to the client. They, they can get access to a, a dynamic dashboard they can review the kind of things that you're reviewing. They obviously make a few tweaks to what the client gets versus what the auditor gets. But the clients are completely interested in that piece. And they're the ones then saying to me, to your point earlier, in the UK, it can take up to nine months for the signed financial statements to be publicly available or to be finalized. The clients are saying, well, I don't want to know something about my business six or nine months after the year end when I could have done something about it. <laughs> I want to know these kind of insights throughout the year. And, and so we've seen a number of uh, UK firms now starting to uh, provide to their clients an analytics as a service offering, which is a, a monthly or a quarterly subscription service, which is effectively additional to or a way of performing the audit. Sure. But it really, to me, starts to unlock some interesting concepts about how exactly the audit needs to look in the field from the client's perspective and how they can benefit from some of the same techniques and analysis that the auditors themselves are using. You know, I say this all the time. I said, you know, your clients don't sit around 12 months a year waiting for the auditors to show up. And uh, and so, and you're actually a burden when you show up for that compacted period of time. If you do it real time on a continuous basis, you get exactly what you described. I say, you need to explain it in terms of what's in it for them. What's in it for them is exactly what you said. It's much more streamlined, it's much more focused, and there's much more value add. And, and, and without question that the clients love it. I, 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 did, I did one firm a few a couple of years back where we went to this continuous data-driven audit, and they said, well, we're going to kind of go talk to this one client, but we're not sure they're going to uh, want to be on board. And they said, are you kidding? It's about time you're doing stuff on a much more real-time basis. When when can we get started? And 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 they are, and they have been a very very strong supporter as that firm wanted to start doing it. And more clients and said, just talk to ABC client, see what they thought about the data-driven audit. And so they've grown their data-driven audit practice significantly just because that one firm is in love with it, and they've and they've gotten so much more value from it. I love the idea of analytics as a service because because it's the the value of the auditor is not ticking and tying it's the interpretation it's the knowledge and uh, and that's crucial to to uh, really re building and and retaining our long term relevance in our profession for sure. 